Competition is good. It forces companies to come up with better products at cheaper prices. The new Infiniti G37 Coupe is the perfect example of this. G, well, it rhymes with three, which just happens to be Infiniti's main competitor in this segment, the BMW 3 Series. Yes, that is uh, pretty much our arch nemesis in many ways. And, and for me personally, the BMW, I think, is an excellent car. However, we feel that uh, we've gone a little bit better direction. The G37 is now a serious threat to Bavaria's benchmark. Why? The rear drive sport model I'm driving has moves. Not only does it hang on tenaciously in the twisties, the very communicative chassis makes it fun. The steering wheel and seats allow your hand and tush to know just what's going on with the road, but the suspension is never harsh bend into a corner, and the G37 holds the line smoothly. Simmering under the hood is a 330 horse V6. Sounds good, moves better. The VVEL system is a new system that's launching on this car for the first time, and it's called the Variable Event Lift System that we have. And it's one of those few holy grail engine technologies that allows you to increase horsepower, torque, and fuel economy at the same time. And the way it works is we can take the valve lift and instead of just opening at the same height every time, we can change it and open just a little bit or a lot. And basically what that does is replace your throttle body and you can get rid of that completely and it reduces your pumping loss. Zero to 60 comes up in six seconds flat, which is certainly on the brisk side. Choose between a six speed manual or this five speed automatic with paddle shifters. You can change from your normal drive mode into a sport mode, which allows the RPMs to go a little bit higher before you shift. It'll hold it in gear longer through a corner. And it also knows when you come hard braking into a corner, it will downshift for you and then hold that gear through the corner as you're accelerating out. We also have what's called downshift rev matching. So whenever you use the paddles or your shifter and you downshift a gear, used to be you would have to have a little weight and it would jerk the car back while you're waiting for that downshift. The downshift rev matching acts like a professional driver will rev up the engine and get it exactly the right RPM before it lets out the clutch and gives a better, smoother downshift for the corners. Infinity is more confident about embracing its Japanese origins. See the samurai swords in the grill? How about the rice paper finish on the aluminum interior trim? Oh, it's easier to understand the well-bolstered seats that adjust for length and width. Anyone can get comfortable here, especially since the G37 is keyless. Nice touches are Bluetooth connectivity so a driver can concentrate on driving, a dedicated connector specifically for iPods, and a compact flash port for MP3 tunes to augment the CD players. If you can think of any other ways to listen to music, let me know. There are belts for two back here, but uh, make your passengers small. There's very little legroom and even less headroom. Move back to the cargo hold and things aren't much better. The trunk is small and shallow, at least the seat backs fold. One more gripe, the user interface takes a while to get used to. Still, this car's mission is to provide maximum fun and there it delivers. Starting at around 35 grand, Infiniti's G37 isn't cheap, but it's thousands less than a BMW 335i coupe. That's why competition is good. While the G sedan and coupe look very, very similar, they share only one body piece, the door handle. Everyone wants to know which one is better, the BMW or the Infiniti. Here, I'm gonna have to put the responsibility on you. This is not a cop-out, they're both good cars. You'll be the one to live with it, so test drive them both. Finally, G37 is available with four-wheel steering. I did not drive this, but Fellow writers who did say it's very subtle if you can tell the difference at all. That's my opinion on the Infiniti G37 Coupe. Uh, remember, I drove the Sport model. If you want a more thorough review, go to the website www.nwcn.com autos. I get into things a little bit more thoroughly there, and there's a link to my email. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk. Check, one, two, check. And Mike, can I have you say and spell your name, please? Name is Steve Neese. S-T-E-E-E-S-E. <laughs> Gotta get better about names. N -E -E -S -E.